previously on South Park. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming to you from my little sister's house while she's in her last month of pregnancy. I was trying to watch this earlier, but I had to hold off on this for a bit. But I've had people asking to watch it since the last one I did is one of my higher viewed videos on the channel. Granted, I'm pretty sure that I got it up with the quickness last time around, so I doubt it's gonna be as popular this time. But regardless, welcome to the channel. Normally I've got fan art and stuff and I do a, re a fan art for every episode of TV that I watch, but it's South Park. I'm not gonna try to come up with anything special. South Park. I'm pretty sure I said this the last time around. But this is the only show. This is the only show that I have watched every episode of for 23s, for anything past season like 10. Like there's a lot of shows that I watch that I haven't seen every episode i'll just go in and out but south park has been with me since middle school and a lot of people give this show shit and rightfully so on certain scenarios but for the most part it still makes me laugh it still makes me happy and i like seeing what these guys do because they just don't give a shit uh the the, the pandemic special like on, on like you know having some time to think about it it was it was okay it was okay but it, there were some moments that, you know, like it, it's hard for this show to capture the magic. You know, after 23 years, I know they have to feel the same way. They've got to deal with with with, uh, with Comedy Central where they're like, yo, 10 episodes a season. And that's all we got to do for 10 weeks. And you'll give us, you know, 50 million dollars a year. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll do South Park until we're dead. Why the hell not? Uh, I'm curious to see because I, I see the queue in the South Park. So I'm curious to see how much politics comes into play because I know that they've been saying they want to try to steer clear of politics but they said that when Trump was in office when Trump was in office they were like yo real life is way more funny and way more ridiculous than anything we could come up with so we're just gonna hold off on politics for a while I feel like now that Biden's in office even though I hate the both of them th that's one of the things that people gave South Park shit for they were like oh South Park was the start of this whole generation hating both sides and not realizing that one side is better. Like, yeah, I can understand that one side is better, but they both suck. <laughs> They're both absolutely terrible. Um, let's just watch the episode. Concert? Will you just come on? You gotta loosen up, Mr. Adler. But this is the most good place in town right now. I can get us in. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Come on, man. We've been waiting for hours. I haven't seen any of like the previews or anything for this, so. Hey, hey, man. Uh, I'm a friend of Dan Roberts. He's a dental assistant in Conifer. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, hello, ma'am. Right this way. Oh. <laughs> 79, bitches. That's funny. Why does this look like lost? Well, it's not really lost. If it was lost, it would do the. Everything is lost to me. Things are supposedly getting better with the pandemic. We're more depressed than ever. We're worried the past year has put a strain on our brooches. Brooches. You know how chicks have periods, right? <laughs> <laughs> and now when we get back to class, there's gonna be a bunch of ketchup on the teacher's chair, and when she stands up, it's gonna totally look like she got her period. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they. So that's bad. how they're rekindling their brooches. <laughs> Something must be wrong with me. It's just me. <laughs> I come here and I risk my life to teach you, and I can't even get vaccinations because teachers aren't important enough. I can't do this anymore. I quit. <laughs> you guys, I think that might have been the single most hilarious thing we've ever done. <laughs> It was the best day when did Cartman become okay with not having to be stuck at home all day, though? That was like the biggest aspect of less special. You guys know how hard it's going to be for them to find us a replacement teacher. It's not going to be hard. They'll bring in some lame ass teacher who's desperate to work. How bad can it be? What's it going to be? Garrison? Yeah, I guess he's back now. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with this. The Garrison Trump thing was getting a little. Oh, yes, I've got a lot of baggage. <laughs> oh, it's so great to see everybody. We all hate hey, you. <laughs> you. Hey, looking good, Thompson. 
completely a PC. I always forget about PC principle until I see it. After my little sabbatical. Yes, your uh, sabbatical was somewhat controversial. Well, I just went through a little thing, you know. I <laughs> He's got realized I was gay. Well, you know. I went through a phase of being the president of <laughs> He really has quite an arc. <laughs> there could be safety issues. Oh, that's not a problem. Anyone who's been president is assigned secret service for the rest of their lives. Mr. Service. This is my private security, Mr. Service. You know, in Israel, they vaccinate everybody. Israel's way cooler than this lame place. So then go to Israel. I tried. I couldn't get in. <laughs> That's how I feel about New Zealand. And what we'd like to do now is take you for an Legitimately, the only thing I inside. want in this world is to just move to New You're Zealand. Not getting in, pal. I'm actually willing to go inside and get a shot. <laughs> that's 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 clever. Please give me a shot. <laughs> no. Please, all I want is a shot. You need two anyway. Clear the entrance. We have VIPs coming out. <laughs> where's uh, where's Stan's grandpa? Old people suck. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Billy. There he is. Hey there, Billy. We're all vaccinated now. Have fun social distancing, loser. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you've all had a lot of time off this past year. Oh dear Christ, what have we done? <laughs> This is weird. I can't. When was the last time we saw Garrison? <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> when was the last time we saw all four boys and Garrison in the classroom together? <laughs> hey, don't put us into this category. This was you. Why do people think we all? Yeah, exactly. People know we're bros, and then we do everything together. Didn't do anything. That's right, Kyle. You did nothing. You knew about the prank. You could have stopped it at any time, but you didn't say a word. He's he's not wrong. Dude, are you just gonna stand there and listen to this crap? Maybe our broship didn't survive. <laughs> Will you shut up about that? Nobody cares about your stupid broships. <gasps> <laughs> you made Kenny cry, you asshole. <laughs> And the pants and arms. First round. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, it's him too. Holy man, they got everybody in this. Kanye in the back. Fireman Tom. Fireman Tom. Will you fucking get lost, pal? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, your head is the size of like every <laughs> ten people combined. <laughs> oh. oh, I see. Look, everyone, there's a gay man. I want to see someone like try to punch him and <laughs> this fucking guy <laughs> pull out some Brazilian jiu-jitsu on him or something. Mr. Service. Bob White, I just want you to know I was always on your side. In fact, all of us whites were really on your side. What are we supposed to do now? Uh, okay, I, w I was wondering where the cue was going to come into play. What are we supposed to do to stop the vaccination? Idiots. Plan. We're on the internet every night waiting for word. The word is get a fucking live. Check out. <laughs> 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 Got security up the ass. You find a way inside. Get all the vaccines you can and bring them here. To These are. This is my favorite kind of South Park, where they take a, a traditionally simple. <laughs> the whites <laughs> and turn it into like a movie there's like three people oh no <laughs> the guy with the fucking viking hillary clinton password yeah well, i want to <laughs> i want to see their their pepe <laughs> their pepe board Aww. That's pretty damn 
<laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> that would 100% work on me. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey again, right? Squeal. I mean, what are you children doing in here? We're community kids. We help seniors get vaccinated. Oh. These boys are helping you, ma'am. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> I love the music in the background. It's community with a C like normal. Grab the vaccine. Have we ever seen his parents before? This is uh, Scott Malkinson, I think his name is. My name is Scott Malkinson. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think we've ever seen his parents before. I love how they've like literally made an entire. Like I know Simpsons gets a lot of credit for having an entire city worth of people, but man, they just got so many people in South Park. All right, Scott, your new tutor is here. Paint here. He's just painting. That, that's what I've been doing. Just been painting. You better pay attention and listen to everything he has to teach you. We'll be great, thank you. This guy. <laughs> All right, sit down. We don't have much time. Huh? Tom Hanks and Oprah are just two. <laughs> the music is still. Now they're gonna get. <laughs> I was gonna say they're gonna get like. <laughs> <laughs> Today is standardized testing. We're going to make sure you lay I'm so tired of seeing this guy. <laughs> I mean, especially because we're guys. I mean, dudes sitting around coming up with period jokes, like, how old are we? Seriously. <laughs> I feel like that's a quick little. I feel like that's a quick little. Uh, what's the what's word I'm looking for? Self-reflection, self-aware <laughs> from from Trey and Matt. Just like dialing it in. That's what we were doing. We're just dialing it in. Hey, we will be there. Period. These guys are sucks jackasses. They're all auditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, I love their little <laughs> dramatic poses. <laughs> it's actually it's pretty good perspective for like cardboard cutout. <laughs> We're trying to get into animation lately and learning perspective is a pain in the ass. This is a fact. Oh, <laughs> I was like what the hell happened in Hollywood? And privileged few. When Jeffrey Epstein the this fucking guy. Was found guilty of sex trafficking. Still waiting to hear about what's her face, J uh, Jelaine. Adrenochrome. It is harvested from children for a euphoric and life-enhancing benefit. This satanic cabal. Jesus! <laughs> oh God, that's horrible. <laughs> and they will continue Oprah. To do so until we stand up against them. This is kind of terrifying. This reminds me of uh, what's it called? The uh, the, the Super Adventure Club. And just because the Super Adventure Club did actually want the Super Adventure Club, but there, when Tom Cruise and all them were on the Scientology thing, they did have a lot of actual Scientology stuff. So I want to know whether <laughs> I was saying I wanted to watch him hit some. <laughs> I, I wonder if the Adrenochrome is actually something that they believe in. <laughs> he just killed her in front of Craig. <laughs> Craig looked so confused. <laughs> Raisins. I can't believe that they got away with that. That's just... Raisins is... That's pushing it, man. He's offering us 2000 bucks for a vaccination. What are you doing? Dude, people really want their shot. I'm asking around to I feel like you've got enough. All you really need is to let your teacher get it. Yeah, so take one. 
No, fuck that. Get, 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 get that 2G. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you think your teacher is worth standing over your parents, up, it's not like that. Well, it sounds like <laughs> it does kind of sound like that. Your mom and dad, you know, when all this went down, <laughs> school kind of abandoned you kids. But your parents, well, we didn't shove you off into a Zoom meeting, did we? How you'd feel if your mom or me got COVID and died in these classes. <laughs> All right, so you take out two for your parents, you take out one for the $2,000, you take out four for you and your friends. They look like they had, like, 20 or 30. You, you'll never be like me. Sorry if I keep looking at my phone, I'm getting a haircut today. <laughs> I have an appointment at one, it's my first haircut in, like, a year and a half. <laughs> but I wanted to get this episode underway. Uh, what's he gonna do? Delete or uh, water them down? Oh, that's fucked. That's fucked. What are you doing? I'm just getting some. That's messed up. It's one thing to give the vaccine to your parents, but to make people think they have it and then have oh man, that's messed up. That's 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 way more evil. <laughs> that's way more evil than anything that Cartman has done in a while. I'm just gonna try and pretend this didn't happen, but only because it's what's best for Kenny. I love that Kenny finally got the recognition that he deserves. We don't have time for this, Scott. You don't understand. I'm part of a militant group now. A secret cabal of sacred children. Like as someone that had this kind of a uh, speech impediment. Like, I still kind of have a lisp. My, like, I have to, like, think about it to make sure I keep my teeth when I say S's. But I went to speech class for years to try to stop saying th 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 So the first time that, the first time he shows up in Cartman, he just keeps going, I can't, I can't do that. I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. But I don't feel bad laughing at it since I was one of them. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Scott Malkinson's got balls. <laughs> butters. I love Butters. Look at him. He's just smiling. Jesus. Man, they really brought a whole hey, Scott, Jared from Subway. <laughs> You know, I'm just now realizing this episode has been just basically them in Garrison. This is the first time there hasn't been like more of the more of Randy, I guess. Like Randy's basically become the star of the show, and I know that that's intentional. The guys, uh, Trey and Matt, have said that you know when we we started this, we were juvenile idiots, but now that we've grown up a little bit, it's been 23 years. We're definitely more Randy, so he became the. The main character. But it is nice to get a break from him finally. Like the Tegrity Farms thing was funny, but that that that, that, that like that went on for a minute. <laughs> there they are right there. You're telling me they're all gonna become mindless zombies who are fine with child murder? Yes! Well jeez, we gotta get Well jeez! the hell wait wait what wait what <laughs> what just happened <laughs> their guns got laser disintegrated they're on the news why is everybody <laughs> looking so despondent uh-huh yeah, no. Look at this background. That's such a, like, I'll never get over how they could have easily just stuck with cardboard cutouts, but they were really like, every now and then, these guys really go nuts at it. Look, let's just face it, you guys. We don't trust each other, and we don't like each other. We can't keep pretending. Really? Are you seriously saying what I think? 
ending the bro ship. Aww. They're like getting divorced. I downloaded Madagascar 3. You want to watch with your 12 headphones? I thought this was going to focus more on the, the storming of the capital. I like how they're kind of, not like hinting at it, but just like, you know, little, little tiny bits of... <laughs> oh, poor Mr. Service. They don't just drink adrenochrome. run the show. The whole damn show. Okay. It comes down to two people. Oh, shit. Look at that. That's cool. Wow. This is so meta. Because <laughs> I've seen the... Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Well, I can't show... <laughs> How am I supposed to put this on YouTube? <laughs> There we go. I've seen the, how they make the show, and that's how they do it. Look, that's cool. That's horrifying. That's some Silent Hill shit right there. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. What the hell is that? Wow, that's so cool. I just started learning how to do this in After Effects. That's so cool. This is like this is like some Looney Tunes, where he. Oh shit. No way! All right, here's the situation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought the whole show was going to switch to this kind of animation now. Mr. Hat? When was the last time we saw Mr. Hat? At two, two, three. Cow, you have Kenny for two days starting on Monday. You have Kenny Thursday and Friday, and it's the same. <laughs> it is a divorce. <laughs> okay, so we can go alternating weeks. Each one of us has. <laughs> he had a backup plan. <laughs> God bless him, man. That's actually pretty. Oh fuck! I got stuffy. Don't fuck fucking pollen, man. I've legit never seen pollen in my life. <laughs> and here in Tallahassee, like my entire car is just covered in pollen, and now I've got like runny noses and shit. It's annoying. <laughs> I keep feeling like whenever I, if I if I leave a sniffle. <laughs> if I leave too many sniffles in these, people are just gonna think I'm doing blow the entire time. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube reactions! <laughs> this makes me want to play Stick of Truth again. Like I said this last time around, that Stick of Truth is one of the best RPGs I've played in the last, like, 15 years. <laughs> you know what? I still haven't played the Fractured But Whole. This, this actually feels like some... <laughs> Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> yeah, I definitely can't show that on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. It's got little flowers on it. I came in here expecting everything to just go back to normal, but we've all been through the proverbial butthole of hardship lately. You don't know the half of it. Dog sent me to the hospital, had to put him down on Easter, became home. Somewhat homeless, haven't worked in a year. Worked out a deal with some pretty powerful people. All right, boys, do your thing. What are they gonna do? It's Air Israel with enough vaccines. To <laughs> Air Israel. <laughs> Where's Mr. Hat? Where's Mr. Hat? I feel like that was the first voice I ever tried to do from this show. Hi there, Mr. Hat. You can go to hell. You go to hell and you die. Wow, that takes me back. Holy crap. Aw. I feel like she's going to get murdered. <laughs> oh, she got it. Oh, no. No. Aw. <laughs> That's... I can't even find that funny, man. That's just messed up. Because I've heard of enough people that were teachers that ended up catching this shit and dying, so I can't... 
<laughs> this kind of makes me just feel bad. Still a good episode, but... <laughs> Towelie. Sexual harassment panda. The the aliens from the... <laughs> from the... The reality show. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, there he is. What do you mean? That's only four episodes. There should be at least six more. Is this really gonna how it's gonna be? Wow. Nice doing business with you. That was good. That felt that felt way more like old school South Park than I've felt in a while. Like that felt like some straight up old school South Park. All right. So I'm gonna go get my hair cut. I get to Jimmy Macrament. I get to take a little fade to black and then come back and talk about it afterwards. So I'm gonna go get my hair cut for the first time in like two years so you don't have to look at this crazy shit anymore. And I'll see you guys in like an hour to finish talking about the episode. But I liked it. It was a good episode. And I'm back. Boosh, look at that. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, yeah, clean. I could. I, <laughs> I haven't messed with the hair yet. I just got home. I was like, I want to record this and get it up and done with. So it's if, if it's a little weird looking, don't worry about it. I'll make it look better next time around. But yeah, so I was thinking about the episode, and I think I liked it more than Pandemic Special for a couple reasons. A, I liked that the Garrison Trump thing is over. That 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 I don't know. That just as funny as it was at times. I'm. I'm over it. I, I would like to just kind of like blank out the last four years. So that I don't remember if I finished my thought when I was set when I was saying it during the uh, episode. But it reminded me a lot of those Looney Tune episodes where Daffy is like screaming at the screen like "You show yourself!" and there's like an eraser and he's like drawing stuff and he's turning him into a flower and then it zooms out and it's just bugs. Hey, nice stinker. The fact that it was Trey and Matt doing that as themselves. To just <laughs> they turned like 20 things into just giant dicks <laughs> the episode i'm trying to remember what it was called i want to say it was called you're getting old the episode where stan is just depressed and just everything sounds like shit and everything tastes like shit and he just everything is shit to him and he's just he's getting old he's depressed he's bored in life you know like it, it was it was such a dep like there's so many episodes of South Park that every now and then end on really depressing notes and I kind of like it. Like if you go on my channel, the most viewed videos that I have are my Bojack reaction videos and I think Bojack is one of the finest animated series I've ever watched. It's just that shit has like touched me in the, in, in in my in in here. Every now and then South Park has an episode like that. They're very few and far between. Like the episode with uh with Wendy with the Kim Kardashian and it ends with her like photoshopping herself and she's like crying and then just ends. I was like, wow, Jesus, the, the whole breakup with the boys. I don't know. It's super depressing, but like, I'm trying to figure out where it goes from here. The only thing I can think of is that the last part of it is going to be all of them like getting back together and rekindling the bro ship. But I'm, I'm also not sure if I would like to see where this goes like Cartman having a whole new click like I feel like Stan and Kyle will still be friends it's weird <laughs> as much as I enjoy Randy he is one of my favorite characters it was nice to get a break I do feel like they they re not rely on him but they just they utilize him a little too much lately sometimes like barely just barely I'm, I'm good with Randy I'm always happy for more Randy but I feel like you know getting back to the kids was kind of cool I liked it and then, like I said it did feel like the stick of truth where there's a big epic thing you know the kids have to do it all on their own and there's a battle brewing and they have the cool fight stances and I, I liked it again I'm not a fan of that ending with the teacher like I know that some people were probably laughing at it and I'm and you're gonna be like oh you're being too sensitive about it but again I followed this shit for a hot minute now and I like when I see teachers that are like oh we went back to school we were forced to like they're like I've seen teachers quit they're like you know what like I'm retiring I'm like no you're not forcing me to go back to school with these snot-nosed little kids rubbing their noses and then freaking high-fiving each other and then sneezing on me no no it's not happening so 
that that kind of made me feel a little like eh. uh got to see a whole bunch of older characters even if they were just like random cameos like that scene where they're all running over the hill and it's just jesus and the, the aliens from the from the the reality show episode ah jargol that was it right for you oh put your finger in my jargol <laughs> I'm thinking of, listen, if you don't love your mother and me and you want us to die, we understand. Don't let mom die. Don't let mom die, Kyle. And again, I still feel like they could have divvied that up. I feel like... I feel like the two news reporters screaming at each other. I feel like that was Matt and Trey trying to smooth... The surface when it comes to everyone saying that they do the both sides a bit too much. Like I said that at the beginning of this whole thing. Like I feel like they were doing the both sides thing. But then one side spent the entire time calling this side. You, you, you're a fucking asshole. You're an idiot. And they hate you. And you're stupid. And they're telling lies. It's like, well, they believe in what they're saying. Like it's showing that they do play both sides. But that they do believe the other side is is, is wrong. Like, they're still on one side. They're just, they're happy to point out the flaws in both. And it's what I still like about these guys. So I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you're watching a reaction video, I doubt you're someone that's like, I hate South Park. Let's see what this guy has to say about it. But if you are, man, I don't know what to tell you. I still like the show. It's been with me for a minute. I gave up on The Simpsons and Family Guy like a decade ago, maybe longer. I don't think I've seen a Simpson episode past season 12. And I haven't seen a Family Guy episode since season, like, 6. So, like, you know, the fact that I'm still watching South Park at season, like, 24, I think it is. It's impressive, man. Like, this does kind of... It's weird. It almost feels like it's coming to a close. Like, I remember hearing that South Park got renewed for, like, another, I think, two or three more seasons. I think there's supposed to be, like, 27 seasons was the, was the order. But, like, if you told me that this next special that they do if I, I feel like there should be two but if there's only one because of the pandemic whatever but if you told me that the next special was going to be the series finale and all the boys go their separate ways and that's just how life is and blah 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 i would almost kind of be impressed with that like that would be a really like real bojacky kind of note to end on i don't think they're gonna do that obviously but just i don't know it, it does feel kind of like like, unlike The Simpsons and Family Guy, where Seth can just dip out and go do his own Star Trek episode thingies, and all the Simpson writers just, you know, on a rotate for the last three decades, this is their baby. They have to be there for every episode. They have to be there for all the writing. And I just, like, as someone that loves this with all my heart, at the same time, I just, I can't imagine that. I cannot imagine working on a cartoon about a talking shit and little boys at school fucking having like after 25 years i can't imagine they're not tired of this they're they're still doing a good job like the rick and morty dudes like i was just talking the last episode of rick and morty that i just watched was basically an entire episode of them trolling the audience just to be like listen we're not doing what you think we're gonna do all right we want to just have fun with this we're not trying to tell stories we're not trying we just we just want to be jackasses and have a good time i feel like that has to have passed with these guys i can't like if, if the rick and morty crew is doing this at season four i can't imagine that trey and park that trey parker and matt stone aren't just like over this at season 24 and like i'm happy to keep watching don't get me wrong i'm not like you know like, this show needs to end this is stupid they should just call it a day if they don't care if they're if they're still getting paid for it and they're still cranking out entertaining enough episodes like this knock yourselves out guys do do season 27 but i don't know just that that whole thing with the boys it just feels like eh, like like i don't want to say like them talking to the like like, the boys are them in the show. Like, talking, like, hey, listen, like, we love you, but just it's not there anymore, so we're gonna go do our separate thing, but we'll still share Kenny. I feel like Kenny is us. They're like, alright, you know what? Like, show and people, like, 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 we'll share the viewers, and we'll actually get together and help out a little bit, but, like, we're gonna... Especially after Pandemic. Like, they got a break, you know? I, I, I feel like, even though they only have to work for ten weeks... Uh, a, a year I still feel like getting a whole year off with them not even having to worry about anything 
I felt they have to have been like, man, this is way better. <laughs> We're rich beyond compare. We're set for the rest of our life times 50. I, I remember saying this in the pandemic special that I remember reading that they made more money off the Book of Mormon than I think South Park, something like that. I don't think that's the what it was, but because it doesn't seem possible to me. It's South Park, but maybe it's because, you know, they charge... I don't know, what, $200, $100 for a Book of Mormon ticket? But man, these guys are set. They don't need to worry about this shit ever again, so. But I will be here for the final episode. I'm happy for any of you that came back after the pandemic special. I appreciate it. I know I'm just a small little channel, but the last couple of weeks I've been trying to up my game a little bit and trying to get this thing rolling. I've got my first long form video review essay thing. It's gonna be like an hour long on Lupin from Netflix coming out. Like I'm recording this as I'm working on the last like five minutes of the Lupin thing. So if you've watched Lupin and you wanna check that out, subscribe. And if you like what I have, subscribe and like button. All right guys, hope you enjoy this. Hope you enjoy the episode. I did. How, what do you think? Do you think that South Park is over? Do you think that they're just starting to like, maybe these last three seasons are the end game that we're in now and it's just the last three seasons are going to be completely different than everything that we've, ex that we've come to expect from the show. Did you like the episode? Did you miss Trump Garrison? Did you, was, was, <laughs> did you feel bad for Mr. Service in the middle of the snow? Were you thinking of the Looney Tunes thing? Let me know below. I'll see you guys later. And I don't have a funny catchphrase at the end yet, but I'm still working on it. Give me some time.